All right, question number 35 on the ACT English test. Let's read the sentence, jostled back and forth by tides. The layer of slightly acidic, brackish water erodes limestone faster than either rainwater or seawater could alone. Okay, so reading this, what would you say would be the correct choice? Remember, we want to find the most concise answer. Okay, so if you're not sure, find the most concise one and then subvocalize that. Hear how that one sounds. And if it sounds smooth, it's most likely going to get you there. What's the most concise answer? Right, answer choice D. Okay, so we have no commas, uh, no, no M dashes. We just have the words as written. Let's subvocalize that and hear how it sounds. Brackish water eroded limestone faster than either rainwater or seawater could alone. How does that sound? Yes, that sounds smooth. Sounds smooth, right? We don't, we don't need any other punctuation there. Let's read the others and figure out why they would be incorrect. Okay, so starting with, uh, starting with A, we have two M dashes here. When do we separate out information like this? Well, we separate it out when it's unnecessary. It could be redefining the word before it, or it could be extra information. Either way, it's not necessary. So let's pretend that it wasn't necessary and we took it out. Would this sentence make sense? Well, this word either, right, kind of gives us a little clue. Either rainwater could alone, either rainwater or what? Okay, so we definitely need this element here, otherwise this either wouldn't make any sense. So we're going to need this information, it's definitely necessary, and therefore answer choice A would be incorrect. Now B does the same thing, right? We have two commas here, okay? And so just to review, so we know, we can have two commas to separate out non-essential information. We could have two M dashes, right? Two M dashes separating out non-essential information. And we can have parentheses separating out non-essential information. All three of these are ways of separating out non-essential information. Now, they all have slightly different variations and uses depending on the passages and what we're trying to accomplish. But on the ACT, it doesn't matter. They're all going to be the same. So if A is wrong, then what do you think B is going to be? Right, B is going to be wrong for the same reason. So I'm going to mark off B, right? We already established it's necessary, so we can't mark it out. And therefore, B is going to have to be incorrect. Now, let's take this in a different approach. Let's pretend you thought it was A. Let's say you thought A sounded great, and you really like that pause there, and you really love the M dashes. Well, then you'd have to give that pause, because you would see that B would be right for the same reasons, right? They'd both be separating out non-essential information. So if A is right, B would have to be right, and therefore, they're both wrong, okay? So that's another indication that you have two wrong answers if they both have the same meaning behind them, and there's nothing else separating out the, the differences between them, then they both have to be wrong. Okay, let's go with C. Okay, so C, we have a comma or seawater here. Again, so that's that's not separating out anything that we need to, uh, to separate out. This would be separating essential from non-essential. And even worse, this comma or here, what is that? Comma or. Well, or is a fanboy, isn't it? Do you remember your fanboys? I know we've gone over them. Fanboys. Okay, so or is way down here. So whenever we have a comma plus a fanboy, a comma plus a fanboy, and we call those coordinating conjunctions, by the way, so I'll just put a CC, but don't be fooled, it's just a fanboy. That separates out two independent clauses, two complete sentences. Do I have a complete sentence on the right side here, comma or seawater could alone? No, that's not a complete thought. And in fact, we have this either over here, so obviously I'm gonna need more on this left-hand side, so that won't be a complete thought either. In which case, answer choice C is gonna be incorrect, but you know what? You could probably just hear that it sounds incorrect. And that's why using the concision and subvocalization technique can really save you a lot of time and give you a really strong clue as to what the correct answer is without having to go through all of these steps that we went through above. Okay, thank you.